Hello attendees of Emacs Conf 2022. The title of my talk is Build a Zettelkasten with the Hyperbole Rolodex. My name is Ramin Hunry. I work as a software engineer writing apps for a small machine learning consultancy. I've been using Emacs since roughly 2018 after having switched from a workflow using Vim together with Screen and Tmux for over a decade. Today I'd like to talk a bit about the Hyperbole package for Emacs. Others are presenting talks later today about hyperbole as well, including some of the authors and maintainers, so I won't go into too much detail about how hyperbole works. Instead, I want to present a more concrete use case for hyperbole, which is how to use it to facilitate the Zettelkasten method. Most Emacs users will probably be more familiar with Orgrom. Orgrom may even be the first thing that comes to mind when you hear the word Zettelkasten, but personally I use Hyperbole because I found it easier to get started with using it as an ideas database. All you need to do is install the Hyperbole package, which is available on DNU Elpa, and then set a few customization options. There's nothing else you really need to do to get started, and also Hyperbole works nicely with org mode. So Hyperbole's built-in functionality can be used as a nice lightweight alternative to other Emacs Zettelkasten packages. This talk is for people who are curious about getting started with the Zettelkasten method, but are not ready to commit to a more purpose-built solution like OrgRoam. So the thing I'd like people to take away from this presentation is that the Hyperbole Emacs package provides you with a flat file database called Hyrolo, which you can use to store ideas. Then you can use what Hyperbole calls buttons, which are hyperlinks, to execute arbitrary Emacs commands. And by inserting links into your database that execute, execute queries against the database itself, these query action links serve as a means to link ideas together, thus creating a functioning Zettelkasten. If this, this doesn't make sense to you, I'll explain what all of this means presently. So just a quick overview of what Zettelkasten is, and note that most of what I say about the Zettelkasten method comes from a guy called Sasha Fast and his website zettelkasten.de. So a Zettelkasten is, in brief, a database containing many nodes of interconnected ideas, each idea being a single quantity of knowledge, about a paragraph, and links to other related ideas. Also, let me quickly mention that there are actually many tools I use that assist me with the Zettelkasten method. Hyperbole for hyperlinks, Embark for general text editing, org mode for markup, Dured for managing large sets of files, Consult, Vertico, Orderless, Marginalia for interactive search to directories and documents, and Magit for revision control and syncing my database of ideas across a few of my computers. Each of these tools provides some unique functionality, but today I'll be focusing mostly on hyperbole and how it is especially useful for the task of linking information together, which is the most important aspect of the Zettelkasten methodology. And now I'll briefly go over what hyperbole is. At its core, hyperbole is a simple markup language specifically designed to markup hyperlinks. Now, a hyperlink usually is only able to jump to ordinary URLs and file paths. Hyperbole extends the function of a hyperlink to provide a simple, human-readable markup for executing Emacs commands, called button actions. And then on top of this core functionality, a few mini-applications, for example, HiRolo and KOutline, have been built to make hyperbole more generally useful as a personal information management tool. HiRolo is the feature that I use as my settled custom, and in particular the HiRolo search feature in combination with the usual hyperbole hyperlink markup language. So let me just quote the hyperbole manual. <clears throat> hyperbole includes HiRolo for convenient management of hierarchical record-oriented information. Most often, this is used for contact management, but it can quickly be adapted to most any record-oriented lookup task requiring fast retrieval. So in other words, for example, it can be uh, used to run search queries across the full set of nodes in a set of org mode files. And this means we can use an org mode file as a flat file database in which entries in the database can be linked together. And this, in essence, is what a Zettelkasten is. Hyrolo needs almost no configuration, even if you're using it for the purpose of a Zettelkasten. 
but you should at least make sure you set the location of the database in your Emacs config file using the customized system or however you prefer to configure your Emacs. I use use package and on this slide I have here an abridged version of what my init el file looks like for the hyperbole package. A few relevant environment variables are set. The high rollo file list variable selects where to find rollo database files for the purpose of search. I have it set to just the Zettelkost and the flat file database. And also I set the high rollo date format variable. Each database entry has a timestamp and I use the timestamp as a unique ID for each entry that is each idea node in the database. Finally, before I get into the actual demo, let me quick explain the hyperbole mini buffer menu system. Mini buffer menus and hyperbole work just like an ordinary GUI, except you typically enter into the mini buffer menu uh, with a key binding instead of a mouse click. To open the hyperbole menu, you use the hyperbole universal leader key, that's control H H, which by the way, this rebinds the view hello file command, which is a command that probably most people never use. So I, all hyperbole menu key sequences begin with control H H. So please remember this. As I explain how to do things, please don't worry too much about the key sequence I use to perform certain actions. Really, I'm just navigating the hyperbole mini buffer menus. It is a very discoverable and fluid user interface. Anyway, now that we've configured our Rollo database, let's see how we enter new ideas into the database. And I will start with an empty database. And then I'll switch over to a more complete database that I prepared for this demo. So, first we type the hyperbole universal leader key, control H, H. And then you can see the menus down here. We type R for Rolo and A for add. So that's control H, H, R, A to enter a new idea. And this command is available globally. So much like with the uh, org capture feature in org mode, you can run this command at any time at the very moment you want to enter an idea. So first we are prompted for an entry title. And if you're using HiRolo as a contact list, this is where you would enter the person's name. I'm using it as a Zettelkost, and so I instead enter a title for my idea. So I'll just type in. And as soon as I press enter after this prompt, my Zettelkost and org file is opened, and a new entry with the timestamp is created. And the cursor is placed at this entry ready for me to enter the body text of the idea. So I'll type that in. And now I save the idea file, control X, control S, and switch back to what I was working on before with the usual control X zero, delete window command. Next, I'd like to talk about the high rollo database search feature, which is very useful. The high rollo search feature uses only Emacs built-in functions and there's no indexing as with tools like mlocator or grum. So far I have not had any trouble with efficiency. I don't know if at some point in the future it will start slowing down. Uh, Emacs built-in search functionality is already pretty efficient as it is. Uh, it could be that I'm also, uh, could also be that I'm in the habit of uh, storing larger bodies of text in separate files and uh, not in a flat file database. Anyway, you can search by regex, by string, or by words. I personally find the string search to be the most useful. The difference between word search and string search is that string search provides logical query operators like and, or, exclusive, or, and not. Uh, once you run a search query, a high roll buffer is opened uh, with this query results. And this is a read-only mode buffer with a few useful single key action bindings uh, for navigating the list of results, which I will now demonstrate. By the way, I've now switched over to a larger example Rolo database that I've created to demonstrate more of the high Rolo features. The high Rolo search is available in the hyperbole mini buffer menu, so it's always available to you. Start with the hyperbole universal leader key, control H, H and then R for Rolo and S for search. That's control H, H, R, S. And now we're prompted for a search string. So I type in Alice Ableton. 
And when I press enter, the search results pop up and the number of results is printed in the mini buffer. And we could also enter a search expression similar to a Lisp, Lisp S expression with the logical operators like and uh, not, but you would not need uh, to quote the search terms. So for example, control H, H, R, S, I could write and university character um, within parens, and this would find entries that only contained both of the words university and character. For the most part, I only really ever use the ordinary string search without logical operators. So as you can see, uh, a search result buffer called HiRolo has popped up with all of the matching entries, and the search results buffer is a read-only buffer with several useful navigation key bindings. I can press O to switch to overview mode, which shows all of the headings but no content. And this would also include subheadings with like two stars in front of it or three stars. I can press A to switch to show all mode, which shows all of the content under each heading. If I know I'm looking for a keyword in a top level heading, I can press T to switch to the top level view mode, which uh, shows only the top level headings. As is always the case with the Emacs default key bindings, N and P move the cursor down and up line so I can navigate the cursor downward to an entry that looks interesting. I can press S to show the content of that particular entry. I can press H to hide the entry again. And I can press E or meta return on the entry heading to edit that heading or that entry which will open the org mode file that is the Zettelkasten database file with the cursor at this particular entry. Be warned that editing an entry creates a new timestamp, which I do not need, and there's currently no way to avoid this behavior. I work around this by simply using the undo command, which un removes the unwanted timestamp. And so that's how I use the HiRolo search functionality. Now, since the most important aspect of uh, Zettelkasten is linking ideas in the database, how do we actually make this work in HiRolo? So this is the secret sauce of hyperbole and the key takeaway for this presentation, as I said earlier. Uh, hyperbole provides markup syntax for executing arbitrary Emacs commands so you can link HiRolo entries together using the HiRolo search function. So let me demonstrate this now. So I'm back in my example HiRolo database, and if you take a closer look, you can see some of the hyperlinks that I already created with the uh, angle round bracket syntax. Now with the cursor inside of these brackets, I can press meta return to click on this link. And as you can see, the search query corresponding to this hyperlink here has executed and popped up the HiRolo search results buffer. Um, well, there's only one linked entry, but this list of ideas that are produced by the search query in this buffer here are the list of all the other ideas that are related to this hyperlink that we just clicked on here. Let me just get rid of the other window. Now, from within this HiRolo buffer, I can navigate to another hyperlink. And clicking on that updates the HiRolo buffer with new results again. And I can just keep navigating through all of the Zettelkasten entries in this way. And so this is it. This is my simple but effective uh, Zettelkasten constructed entirely with the functionality already built into hyperbole. So in the remaining time, I'd like to talk about how hyperbole hyperlinks work because it's slightly different from how hyperlinks work in org mode or with the Emacs clickable text properties. So, the easiest way to create a hyperlink button is that runs an Emacs command is simply to type the Emacs command as an S expression 
but with angle brackets instead of parentheses. If you were lo looking closely, you probably already saw a hyperlink of this form, an angle bracketed Emacs command. So this hyperlink simply calls the hyrolo fgrep function with this string argument. And so clicking on this button is equivalent to running the hyrolo search with uh, the control h h r s key sequence. So as you can see, uh, clicking on it produced the search results for en entries associated with that string query. It's also possible to uh, label an action with a so-called implicit link, and that's this uh, angle square bracketed notation. And so if I click on this button, it will activate the action to the right of the colon separator. And uh, there are the relevant uh, search results from that string query. And finally, there are explicit links, which I find to be especially useful for the Zettelkasten method. And I've already shown an example of using an explicit link before. What makes explicit links so useful is, firstly, that the button works uh, with just the label alone. There's no need to write an S expression or anything. You can just write the link label in line with the body text of the idea, for example, like this. Explicit links are identified by their label, so they are especially good for the names of people and places. Um, by the way, this Zettelkasten database is for a fictional story. I started writing for the purpose of demonstrating Hyrello in this presentation, and I had so much fun writing it that I may actually continue developing the story. Anyway, let's create a new explicit link and an idea entry for a character in the story. So suppose I want to create a new idea node entry for this fictional character here, and I'll also want to link this entry to that node. Since hyperlinks are just search, uh, string search, we don't actually need to have an entry in the database for this character. The worst that could happen is that the hyperlink executes a search that returns no results. So it's okay to create the hyperlink before we have an actual entry for this person. And I'll just uh, meta w copy the name. And now I use the universal hyperbole leader key, control H, H, and then E for explicit links, and C for create. That's control H, H, E, C. We're prompted for an entry label, but it defaults to the text highlighted by the region, so I just press enter. And now it prompts for a button type, so I select high rollo F grep. And uh, there's orderless helping me go faster. And since high rollo, high rollo F grep requires a string argument for the search query, I'm prompted for the query string. So I'll type in uh, character. Yank. Gary Katz's name. And there we are. The link has been created. And uh, let me just get rid of the uh, hash character. I can try it out. There's no search results. That's fine. We haven't created an idea entry yet for this character now. So let's go ahead and do that now. If we remember how to create a new idea, it's uh, Control H H R A. And then I type uh, character, and then uh, the name again. And uh, now a new node has been created. And I can start describing this character. Notice that I like to precede my characters uh, with the keyword character colon. And this technique helps me to create hyperlinks using more descriptive search queries that return fewer but more useful search results. And finally, I can create an explicit link from this character back to the other character, her boyfriend. So I just type in Bertrand Beckett. And uh, this explicit link has already been created, so I don't need to create it again. It just works. Hyperbole identifies buttons by their label, so as long as an explicit link button with that label has been created before, I can just type in the, bu the button with the markup by hand, and then I can just use it. And now I'm back to the search results for the uh, boyfriend character. 
And uh, so now I hope you can see how minimal but useful this particular Zettelkasten technique I have uh, is that uh, uses this high rollo. So I should uh, also make clear that hyperbole explicit links are encoded in a separate file in the same directory as the Zettelkast and flat file database. So um, let's go back to that. And um, control X, control F, that hyperbole. So you should not edit this file by hand, uh, but it is human readable. and. Uh, so it works well with Git and other revision control systems. Uh, whenever an explicit link is activated, it consults this file and it runs the associated action, uh, which is in the uh, in the Zettelkast in use case will always be to run a high roll of search query. The advantage of keeping a separate table of links is that you can edit the link action, that is the search query, in just one place, uh, and the updated button action works everywhere without having to change any other files. So, that is all for today. Thank you so much for listening to my talk. Uh, I'll be available for questions for the next 20 minutes or so. And if there are any questions that I cannot answer, you will have a chance to ask the author of Hyperbole himself, Bob Weiner, later today after his presentation. Thanks for your attention.